por Júlio Matano. www.tufebrasil.not.br A assessoria profissional. Puro sangue inglês e quarto de milha. A corredora. Vi a Cistina, a irlandesa de 6 anos, descendente paterna de Daniel, famoso chefe de raça, do turf moderno, vem colecionando grandes vitórias na Austrália. A neta materna de Galileu logrou êxito, em tempo recorde, no WS Cox Plate Grupo 1 na distância de 2.040 metros na pista de grama. Um êxito que impressionou, já que abriu vários corpos na reta de chegada. Alcançou sua oitava vitória, sendo cinco em graduação máxima. Em Grupo 1 uma corredora de muita classe. Sua mãe carrega nomes consagrados idem em Galileu Glorezaxil e Norte Dancer, entre outros. Lembrando que o único hipólogo do mundo a destacar Daniel, em matéria na internet, como futuro chefe de raça, foi Júlio Matano em 2004. São 38 anos atuando como hipólogo e sempre antevendo o futuro. A pista manda o um recado. Chegando a Cox Plate. Evaporate slow and almost stumbled out of the gates. Via Sistina away fairly. Royal Patronage led the race early. Pride of Jenny and Prognosis right up there. And driving up Evaporate made a line of four at the post. So Pride of Jenny steadily working across four deep on the first corner. They were followed by Mr. Brightside. Docklands the inside. Two and a half Via Sistina. Cova Lika and Broadsiding last. So Royal Patronage led 1,600 to go. Pride of Jenny sits outside of it for now. Prognosis a length and a quarter away, third from Evaporate, who's kept three wide. A length and a half, Mr. Brightside, Docklands via Sestina. Kovalika is second last, broadsiding last. Pride of Jenny went to the front. Bottom corner, 1,300 to go. And Pride of Jenny's put up three lengths now from Prognosis second. Royal Patronage passed by Evaporate on that corner. They were followed by Mr. Brightside, a length and a half to Docklands. Then via Sestina. Next in the field, Kovalika and broadsiding at halfway. Pride of Jenny is the leader in the Cox Plate by about two and a half to Prognosis, keeping the mare in his sights. A length and three quarters away evaporate. Then came Royal Patronage and Mr. Brightside as they run towards the 700 metres. Via Sistina, seven off the lead at least from Docklands, broadsiding Kovalika. So it's Pride of Jenny, 600 metres to go. A length and a half to Prognosis, who's nice and close. They're two lengths in front of Via Sistina, who's coming into it. Mr. Brightside's coming with her and then came Royal Patronage Pride of Jenny grabbed by Prognosis but Via Sestina now pushes the button on the outside and goes up and takes the lead Via Sestina 300 metres to go puts up two legs Prognosis Doc lands Mr Brightside and then came Royal Patronage but Via Sestina storms away with 150 to go she's four five legs in front it's going to be a Cox Plate route and James McDonald a century of the very best Sustainer by seven lengths. Second prognosis. Third in the race was Broadsiding. Mr. Brightside next. Then Docklands Kovalika. Royal Patronage, Pride of Jenny. And Three straight Cox plates. His 100th Group 1 comes aboard. The mighty Via Sustainer. He's alongside Charlotte Littlefield. Well, James, I feel very honoured to be next to you here. You have joined an elite group of riders, many of whom you admire greatly, such as Hugh Bowman, your good friend. You've won 100 Group 1s, you've won three Cox Plates in a row. If this isn't a movie script, I don't know what else is. Just, just, just so lucky. I, what this me has been through, and she's just an absolute star. I'm so lucky to be part of it. To Chris Waller and all his team, I see Tommy Simpson working on her on Tuesday morning. Chris Harwood flew down on Thursday to work her. And all of them, all of them said, excuse my French, she'll shit in. I, I, I honestly can't believe it. I love this race. I love this place. And to win a Cox Plate with Chris Waller, who is my greatest supporter and so special. I, I, it's so fitting. He's brought up my 100s, and to do it in such a prestigious race like the Cox Plate, I'm blessed. So blessed. 
you've been quoted as saying that privilege, the, pr the pressure you feel in these big occasions is a real privilege. I mean, that's, that's so evident right now, isn't it? But uh, you've partnered one of the best horses in the world. I mean, tell me more about her. What makes her so incredible? She's, she's got an unbelievable sustained speed. And I think it's a huge asset to have in this high pressure race. Um, the pressure was on from the get-go and Jenny didn't have her piece. This horse has really worked really well here, even though I, f I fell off her on Tuesday. She felt like she was gliding around the course really well. and um, I, I, had a, I had a quiet first half and I, I wheeled her out, kept her happy and she seems just to grow a bit of confidence and it was a Winx-like performance. So I just, <laughs> Charlotte, I can't believe it. I, uh, I can believe it. You're both champions. I want you to go and enjoy this moment, but let me know, let me know first of all, how you're going to celebrate this moment. Oh, look, I, I don't know. I just, honestly, it's, I just feel so, so freaking lucky. I, 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 I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I'm just, I'm just blessed and my beautiful family will be watching her. They'll be so over the moon. All my supporters, I can't thank any, everyone enough. I, I'm lucky to be in this industry and riding such wicked, unbelievable fast horses. Well, I think everyone's very excited to see you. So uh, go and celebrate and well.